All right, so we still have a whole mess. I can't show you because I don't have the camera flipped around right now. Um, thinking about watching a new series tomorrow videos. Let me know if you want to see a video where I pick a music artist. I'm a huge fan of like Elton John. Explain how I found their music, my favorite songs, where my love for them came, stuff like that. Um, let me know if you want to see that video series. I probably will make it anyways. But I also just want to know if you want to see it. Uh, that'll probably be out tomorrow because I've already made, I think, two videos today. So, um, you know, we that's the my limit. So, I went to CVS, you know, because I, I work right now. I'm out of work program. I'm trying to get out. Don't get out of it to really December. But on Fridays, we're allowed to go to a store and buy stuff. And so... You know, I saw this in a clearance section. I didn't know exactly if it was on clearance because some of that stuff wasn't on clearance. But the guy was super nice, actually. He was a super nice guy. Um, we were working, stocking the shelves at CVS. And he goes, you know, we, we helped him out. And he's like, hey, you know, you want me to buy you a soda? And I'm like, you know, I was like, yeah, sure. Um, he bought me, he bought us a chair. You know, bought all of the, us work, uh, us. Because it's like job training when you buy us all a drink. And that was kind of nice of him. I was super nice to the guy. And um, I know he's not watching this. But if you are, thank you. So so anyways, I had like a few bucks. So I wasn't going to spend it all on CVS. There was nothing I really wanted. And most of these type of figures by Hasbro. I don't even know what brand these are. They're just like kind of blockish kind of figures that just stand like this. They're like 13 bucks. I got this for five bucks there. And this is like a Shadow Trooper, I think, from Rogue One. He's gonna, I don't know where I'm gonna put him yet. He's kind of tall. Like, I, 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 I can't even set him over there. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, he's pretty cool looking. I really like him. Five bucks. Can't pass that up. So that was at CVS. And then over at Goodwill. I'm gonna go over something real quick. I don't wanna spend too much time on this. I got this Tweety plush, which is like a baseball player. It's kind of gross. Needs a little bit of washing. But yeah, it's like um, I'm I love Looney Tunes, so I you know I found this at a thrift shop. I think it was like two three bucks, so I bought that. So that was cool. Um, and then I got uh, this was a dollar. Let me pull off this sticker here. You know, I didn't like Incredibles 2, so they had a bunch of Incredibles 2 stuff, which I didn't buy. I just wanted this Frozone. It was like a dollar, and it and it could be based off the first movie or second. He didn't really change his look in between the movies, so. Um, but I, I think this figure looks cool. You know, it was a dollar, and it's kind of like that Rogue One figure. It's very simple. It's very plain. Like, a, this is the kind of toy that a kid would play with, but it also could just sit on my shelf and look fine. And it, it's got a few marks on it, and you clean that crap off. But it, it looks fine. It's You can't even really tell that bad. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, that's Frozen. I got that for a dollar. A dollar for this, so. Yeah, that's better than the Rogue One figure I bought. And then we got, um, I know you don't really care about this, but I'm going to mention it anyways. Um, let me get this sticker off. Alright, I'm just peeling. It's not coming like rip. Oh, there we go. I got it. I got it. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. It's like ripping in little pieces. I hate when it does that. Like, you know? I don't know. It just rips in little pieces. That drives me nuts. But I bought this uh, alarm clock, which was five bucks. So, it's got a little radio on it. Whatever. It, you know, it's, gosh, there's another sticker. I got it. Come on hate that. Why do you need to put two price stickers on it? I don't know. It's five bucks. I need a alarm clock because I've been using my phone. And so I get like 6.30, 6 o'clock. And I can't charge my phone at night if my phone is on. Because I have a lot set, you know. So the plan is that I'm just going to use this. And so I bought this for five bucks. It's got an FM, AM radio, you know, 
pretty simple one, but I, you know, I need an alarm clock. So here we go. Got one. And that was five bucks. And then let's go into the last thing here. I've been debating collecting these DC Primal Age figures. I've been seeing them a lot of them. Five bucks. I'm like, five bucks. I should get it. I should get it. I should get it. I keep talking myself out of it. And, um, the thing is, they're cool. But it's like, there's so many of them. I, if they're all going to get cheap, I might pick them up. But the problem is, I don't know where to put the playset. I got that giant T-Rex, which... I, I, I don't even know. I have no idea where I'd even put the, that thing, right? So I'm trying to think, oh, what, what, what would I do? I don't know. I'm thinking I'll just collect the figures, but I'm not sure. Um, but I got Aquaman here, which was five bucks there. And so I just, I don't know. I could always trade him. Just trade him with a friend who's more on this sort of thing. I don't know. But let's get this guy out of here. And the packaging was already ripped up, so they really should have sold it for to me a little bit cheaper, but you know, whatever. I'm not gonna complain too much. It's five bucks, you know. So these look so if you don't know what these are, they're like figures made by Funko. And they're supposed to imitate like classic like figures like He-Man from the 80s and stuff. But but so these are like so it's like Aquaman, but he's like super buff, kind of muscular barbaric and stuff like that so it's kind of cool and um you know it's kind of like their own original interpretations of these characters and they actually did make a comic about it i believe and they sold like lunch boxes and t-shirts it's kind of cool thing so i i was like okay come on that thing's pretty cool so this he has his little trident here um you know that's pretty cool He's got a hook for a hand, which I always thought, which I think is a little weird. I don't know if I they really should have done that. Just give him his normal hand. But he's got like, look at his side. It's like a squid there. He's got a beard. He's got his crown because, you know, he's the king. He's got his Atlantis symbol right here on his belt, you know, stuff like that. It's kind of cool looking. It's And he's Aquaman, so... Yeah, you know, a lot of people don't like Aquaman. I like Aquaman a lot as a character. I just think he, I think he's been portrayed as really dumb and lame lately. Um, and that Aqua, those DC movies really don't help with that, so. I know people like Aquaman. I do too. Um, not because it's a good movie. I find it extremely entertaining, uh, but I just, I can't say definitively, oh yeah, that's a good movie, so. Really can't bring myself to do that. Um, I enjoyed the movie, had a lot of fun with it, and I'd totally watch it anytime. It's hilarious. Um, it goes from hilariously bad at points to like off the wall. Um, yeah, so that was kind of cool. I only have like a buck left now, but you know, I got this awesome true. This is probably my favorite thing. The Aquaman's probably second, Tweety's probably my favorite. Uh, least favorite, I mean, not not Tweety's bad or anything, because I bought it. I, I just think that I need to, I think it's, dirt, it's dirty, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. Probably would just lay him on my bed. Uh, and I, I think her and Oswald will just have to lay there. I'm still cleaning it up in here. It might, you know, I'm going to wait till tomorrow, because I just need a break right now. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Clean up in here, set up my alarm clock, fix up my, all my figures, um, and do a bunch of other stuff. But I, you know, this is, um, yeah, I, you know, I, I, love, I just like collecting stuff. Um, I've just been, you know, I just don't, I, you know, it's just not, here's the thing about collecting stuff. It's just fun because you get to pick, uh, you get to buy something based on something you like. And then every time you go into your room, you look around and you're like, you're reminding of all, you're reminded of all the different things you like. You know, it's, it's very fun and it's just, it's a good feeling knowing that, oh, I have this movie I could, that I like and I can watch it at any time. Oh, I have this show I like represented with this figure or whatever, stuff like that. It's just, it's really cool and I recommend 
that if you are on the fence about collecting because of my videos, don't be. It's really fun. I don't buy things like, like, I don't, you know, put a price limit. Be careful. Don't buy everything right now. Um, like, I get it if you want, if you're going to buy things, I get it. It's tempting because you don't know what's going to sell. But you got to be careful. Buy the things you really want now and then, and then let things go down in price. I mean, I waited to get this $5. Same thing with those DC Primal Dage figures. Now I'm going to collect like a crap ton of them. And, you know, they're five bucks now. So, just wait. Don't buy things right now. Don't be obsessed with that idea. Just just wait. Things will go, go down in price. And then you can pick them up. It's really, it's really not that hard. Uh, now, excuse me while I go play with this Stormtrooper toy in the bathtub. This is what never would happen, girlfriend. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Get it.